what is going on so i think this is like gym vlog number 10 i think it is but we have biceps and triceps again today so we're going here you know i got a tripod let's go put some work in and uh bring some inspiration to the world and uh help everyone get inspired to make that first step that big step that committed step to get in the gym i promise you the gym impacts every area of your life your confidence your mental your, your your friends everything around you can change by you making yourself or taking your butt to the gym but let's go let's go let's go uh oh uh oh it's time to do arms so listen we have, I think, about seven different exercises today uh, for the arms and the triceps. We're going to get into it, man. Uh, I got really good meds for you guys today. You know what I'm saying? I'm always going to try to drop some dimes, keep you guys motivated. And once again, when I'm dropping dimes or dropping little hints of motivation, it's that just to you guys. A lot of times, it's what I need to hear for myself. And if I'm even here, I just want to send and give a message to everyone else. Because I'm going through that, maybe someone else is going through the exact same thing mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever the case may be. So it's my job to record it and share it. Hope I'm able to inspire somebody. But regardless, let's get into this first exercise. So we're going to sit, uh, we're going to get on the machine that we typically use for our back and do cable rolls. But we're actually going to put the long bar on there. We're going to work the biceps. And what we're going to do is, we're just going to set up for you. But here we go. We're going to get the long bar. We're going to have the inside the knuckle. So we're not going to be on the outside of the knuckle. But we're going to use the inside of our knees to hold our elbows. So right here. So we're able to push out. And we're going to wrap it out just like this. So we're going to hit the first one with 25 reps, 20 reps, then 15 reps. We're going to do a 45 second rest in between. And we also gonna make sure we add five pounds on each one of them, okay? This right here, once again, is the very first bicep workout. So the job is to pump a whole bunch of blood and get those biceps warmed up to be absolutely wrecked. So let's go, let's go. All right, so let's get it, guys. We have our very next bicep. We're going to do a single arm on the bicep machine. And uh, we're going to hit it with 25 reps, 20 reps, 15 reps. And we're going to immediately jump in between uh, the right arm and the left arm. So if, you hit your, if you're doing your time right, after you get done doing each arm, we probably have about five or 10 more seconds of rest before you immediately jump into your drop set. And doing your drop set, if your machine allows you to add five pounds each time, add them five pounds. So let's go, let's go. All right, so next bicep is gonna be the seated curl, but on the machine, instead of doing dumbbells this time. I feel that with the machine, it gives a little different resistance, but I didn't know this machine has these little 
pads behind your tricep, they actually kind of allows you to almost hyper extend uh, back a little bit, but really isolate the bicep versus getting any momentum going. So if you haven't seen it, uh, see the curl machine, give it a try. I know we look at the machines and kind of like run away from them and typically I always use the, either the dumbbells or I always use the cable machine, the cables. But uh, yo, try the machines out. I think the machines, they got something we missing. But uh, regardless, let's get to going. All right, so we're gonna have 25 reps, 20 reps, 15 reps, 45 seconds in between. We're gonna do about two, two and a half minutes to three minutes recovery after each full set. We're still doing high reps, low recovery time to build up that strength endurance. So let's get it, let's go. Let's put that work in, baby. All right, so we are finally done. We're finally done with biceps. And uh, my biceps are, they're absolutely screaming. But now, it's time to work on those beautiful triceps, which is um, actually majority of your arms. So don't ever cheat, uh, uh, skip out on doing triceps or skip out on going hard on triceps because the tricep muscle really makes up the, the majority of the uh, way the arm looks. And that's what the ladies like. So anyways, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna blast my regardless. All right, so we got 25 reps. We got 15 reps. We got 10 reps. Back to back drop set. We're gonna add five pounds each time. 45 second rest in between each drop set. Two and a half minutes to three minute rest in between each set. So once again, we're using like a a medium to lightweight, we're not going super heavy because we still need to be able to uh, power the workout without doing half reps or cheating ourselves. But let's put that work in, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Two more exercises, my arms are murdered. I probably should have ate a bigger meal before today's workout, but we're here now. Oh, this feels a little light, let's go up a little bit. But all right, we got our next tricep extensions. Uh, as you can tell, the theme for today is pretty much, uh, we're gonna be on the machines. And uh, instead of doing just dumbbells and cables today, so, we're gonna hit this one for 25 reps. We're still doing high reps, but 25 reps, 20 reps, then straight to 15, 45 second rest in between. You guys know the vibes. You guys know the routine we'll be doing already. We're gonna put that work in. So let's go, let's go. We 
have the very, 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 very last exercise on this crazy arm day. Uh, we have weighted dips. We're going, uh, there's no set number. We're just going to go into failure. We're going to do three sets and pretty much just go until you can't go no more. And then you're going to drop the weight and then you're going to continue to do a burnout set. So say you get to, I don't know, eight, 10 with the uh, weight, take the weight off and immediately hop back up there. You may get about four to five more, it doesn't matter. The goal is just to completely exhaust the tricep as best as possible while pumping as much blood into it. So that's not the last one out. And once again, when you're doing your weighted, your weighted dip, you don't have to break 90 degree on your dip. So if you stop right here, that is completely fine. You don't have to break 90 degree. When you typically do that, you typically probably are working chest more than just your tricep. So let's go, let's go. Let's get as many as we can. Ugh. All right, there we go. As many as we can do before we break form. We want to drop the weight. Immediately hop back up there and go back into it. Let's get as many as you can out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys. Huh, that's it. So let's do that for three sets. We got this thing. Let's go. All right, guys, that is the end of the workout today. Listen, one little message I do want to give you, whatever idea that you have in your head, whatever goal that you're writing out every morning, whatever you're praying about at nighttime, understand that you have to do whatever you can to make sure that dream, that idea come to fruition. This is, your, my, this is the future speaking to you through me right now. Listen, your ideas, you're gonna need those ideas in the future. Don't wait and catch yourself into a moment or catch yourself into a situation knowing that you had the answer years ago, but because you did not act on it, because you was too afraid, because you was lazy, whatever you want to call it. Understand that if you are holding back your own goals, you're holding back your own progress, you are hurting no one other than yourself. And it's going to come a time that you're going to wish you planted a little more seeds. It's going to come a time that you wish you watered your garden a little bit more. We always say the grass isn't green on the other side, but are you watering your own grass? Are you making sure that you're doing everything to make sure your dreams come to fruition? Are you still writing down nighttime? Are you still dreaming about them nighttime? Are you still talking to your friends, gassing them up, hoping they understand what you're saying about your dreams and hoping they're going to push you to get to your dreams? Understand this comes down to you, no one else. So do everything you can to make sure your dreams come to reality, but make sure you put all your efforts into everything that you're right now in your notebook and your goals and dreams. Let's go, baby. Do better because you know better. Let's go.